Opera House in Covent Garden. I'm so excited to see my friend Vlada Borovko. She's playing the role of Musetta in La Bohem, the opera. And I saw it a couple of weeks ago. She was kind enough to invite me. And she was actually watching it with me. She was performing that night and it was amazing. So she's going to be coming out in a moment and I'm going to ask her some questions about her experience. exciting in this production is to walk through the tables <laughs> and uh, have, love that have I I, that scene. yes and I have my <laughs> area on the table so that's fantastic yes that is the most amazing scene and she has all the men at her fingertips like they're just calling for her yes. and making way and it's nice because all this all this loves and the most important for us is to make all it happen. Yeah. And, yeah. and I'm glad that I'm a part of this kind of excitement. Definitely, definitely. Super awesome. So we're at the entrance of the Royal Opera House, as you can see by the red flags behind us. It's right there. There is a group of people that just went in for a performance. Not sure what one it is taking place right now, but it reminds me of my first experience coming to an opera here in the Opera House, and Vlada was actually in that production also. It was called Adriana La Couvre, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, because I'm not really the expert on French. Did I pronounce that correct? Fine. Okay, good. So tell us, Vlada, when did you start singing as an, as an opera singer? Oh, quite late, actually. I liked singing always, but when I was 18 years old, I was advised by professional singers and musicians to enter a conservatoire or music academy because they said that I have a real operatic voice. So I actually yes, I actually did it. I started at school and after five years I entered the Inter Park a Young Artist Program at the Rover House. So I spent two wonderful challenging seasons here covering leading roles and doing supporting roles on the main stage. And this is my first season as a guest artist at the Royal Royals. Did you hear that? A guest artist. <laughs> this is a whole other level now. Just fabulous. Fabulous. Yeah, that's just like a dream. <laughs> like a dream. dream come true, I'm sure. So what would you say is the most important thing for an opera singer? Oh, we need to know so many different things. Nowadays it's very important to have great technique, to be a good actor, to move, to know many languages because we sing in different languages. I think that the most important is probably to have much luck in your career. To be in the right place at the right time. I, I, I'm pretty sure. Also, you, earlier you mentioned about preparation, being ready for that lucky moment, and you seem to be very focused. And yes, actually, luck is very important, and thank God I had luck in my career. When I was a young artist, and it was my first season here, I was covering the role of Violetta in Traviata, which is the leading role. And for somebody of my experience, who have never performed this role before, oh, yeah. it was quite much to do. And I got one hour notice to jump into this production. And yes, it happened to me. And it was very challenging, but I had wonderful support from my colleagues on stage. And it was a big success. And I must say that maybe after this kind of opportunity, this, this kind of challenge, I got offer to sing Musetta. Mm. Awesome. Just awesome. So that, 
that can happen, guys. Well done. So work you need hard. to believe. You need to believe and work hard. Yes. Yeah, believe in yourself, and one day you can be like Lada. Staying on the main stage of the role of her house and doing one of the leading roles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just living that fabulous dream life as an opera singer. Now, Vlada, I know a lot of people have the conception that opera is for an exclusive group of people, not very diverse at all, and that it's not affordable. What would you say to that? Guys, this is not true. Opera is for everybody. For everybody who wants to enjoy art for everybody who loves music if you feel that you are ready for your experience just come and enjoy it and also there are many opportunities to save your money and like what for example huh? like yes. ticket say uh, okay at the royal opera house there is friday rush you can come to, on friday and you can book wonderful cheap Awesome, awesome. <laughs> that is what we need to hear. And what about student rates? Are there any special student yes, rates? Yes, yes. The companies provide students by special discounts. And I know for sure that there are many different packages for students and for all the other groups. Ah, okay, okay. I will definitely be looking into that. Thanks to Vlada's wonderful friendship. My opportunities to see opera up to this point have been complimentary. She's invited me, so I have no knowledge of these special deals, but I will definitely be looking into them as well. We're outside of the Royal Opera House again. Beautiful view, such a beautiful building with pillars and the architecture is amazing. Vlada, what advice would you give to somebody visiting the Royal Opera House for the first time and about to see their very first opera ever? Oh, I think that the best choice would be Carmen, La Traviata, La Bohème, The Magic Flute, L'Elisir d'Amore, something funny, something full of energy, so the audience could really enjoy it. And L'Elisir d'Amore, I'm not good at pronouncing this, that one is funny, yes. I saw that, I love it. I was playing Jeanette uh, at the Royal Opera House in fantastic production with Roberto Alania, who is extremely famous. So, yeah, that was fun. That was really fun. It was fun. It was comedy and, yeah. <laughs> Definitely an excellent example of how funny an opera can be. Yeah. Do you have a favorite role in any of the operas that exist in the world today? Uh, yes, of course. I like singing La Traviata de Oletta Valerie. I really like La Nora in the show of Nora by the I like some hearings by Mozart, especially Elettra in Domineo, Donna Anne in Don Giovanni. I like Rossini's opera Syria, some comic operas in the Adjarains, that would be interesting to perform one day. I like some French lyric opera, Margaret in Faust, also like Russian repertoire, Martha from the Tal by Tatiana from the Dominique. I like experiments. Sometimes it's interesting to try something new, baroque or contemporary or welcome or romantic opera, it doesn't matter. The most important is the quality that you can provide, the facets of your character as an actress that you can open during some kind of project. And I'm sure it's a very challenging experience having to try so many different roles and personalities. But if you had the choice between playing a villain, or a damsel in distress, which would you choose? Wow, that's quite uh, an interesting question. Sometimes it's nice to play a villain, sometimes it's nice to be an angel, sometimes it's nice to be a romantic hero or a comic actress. It all depends on the state of your soul. I like to be different. I like to be somebody else on stage. And that's why I like being a villain, an angel, a romantic princess, and different types. Can it be therapeutic also, do you find? Like just getting on stage and putting your life to the side, playing these different roles, do you find it helps you deal with your own life sometimes? Yes, I think. I think when you're coming on stage and you're just performing somebody else, you are living the other person's life. And it's really interesting, it's really challenging. And sometimes it can help you even to solve your own problems in your problem. I can imagine. 
You can learn from your here. So guys, what are you waiting for? If you haven't been yet, make sure you come and visit the Royal Opera House. Check out one of the operas that Vada has just recommended. You'll have a great time. It's an awesome experience.